Okay, so let's try this one. It says, write the formula for the following compound. Sodium hexanitro cobaltate 3. Okay, so when we look at this name, well, hopefully, since we're on the complex uh, coordination complex chapter, we're thinking we've got a coordination complex, okay? So, hexanitrocobaltate, okay? So that means that this is something that's negatively charged, okay? And it's attached to the positively charged sodium ions here, okay? Nitro, right? So, nitro is the ligand. You got that, right? That is the NO2 minus ligand, okay? So the nitrate. Remember, when they're negatively charged, we change it to the O, so we call it nitro when it's a ligand, okay? How many do we have? Hexa? Six. Six of them, okay? And what's the atom that's in the middle? Cobalt, right? Okay, so let's just draw what we know now. So we've got a cobalt atom, and around that cobalt atom, we've got NO2 minuses, right? And we've got six of them, like that, okay? So if we've got six, remember this is a minus one, if we've got six minus ones, how many total minuses do we have? Minus one? Six times minus one, have, what's the total negative charge? Six. Negative six, right? But our total uh, oxidation number for cobalt here is plus three, okay? So if we have negative six plus three, what's going to be our charge here? Three. Negative three. Negative three, negative three right? Like that. Does that make sense? Okay, because we got a plus three here and six minus ones, okay? So that's going to be overall negative three. So sodium, what's its charge from the periodic table? Positive one. Plus one, okay? So we're going to have this, and we're going to add it to this complex ion. So how many positive ones do we need to totally counteract that negative three? three. So we're going to have three of them, like that. So when we put this all together, it's going to look like this. Na3CO, NO2, Six. Let's draw this, the sodium is closer, so let's see. Any questions on that one? Does that make sense? Okay, wonderful.